F&S Yamaha Marine in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Northeast large express dealer and one of the largest express dealers in the nation. I'm Andy. I'm the express guy here at F&S. If you contact us, more than likely you'll be speaking with me. We just got in another uh, 2023 H22 Bay. 22 foot bay model with the Yamaha 200 SHO. That's the max motor for this boat and the most popular. We sell most of our 22 footers with uh, 200s. This uh, speed wise, it's a upper 50s to 60 mile an hour boat, depending on how it's loaded with a 200. Tandem axle trailer, which we suggest in all the 22 footers. Of course, all aluminum trailer, which is made in house by Express. Upgrade with aluminum rims and brakes on both axles. Like all the H series bay boats, this comes with Express's Hyperlift pad haul. What that means is that the very back bottom of the boat, there is a pad. And that pad is about two feet, or I'm sorry, about 12 inches wide and about two feet long. So when the boat is running wide open with the motor trimmed up, the only thing that is in the water is that pad. That makes the boat go faster it makes it ride better because there's very little of the boat in the water. And then along with the rest of the hull design, you'll see the aggressive steps here and reverse chines. These boats are very stable in the water walking to the edge and they turn on a dime. Express has quite a reputation for ride and handling. This is the main reason why of their hull design. It's a 125 thickness aluminum along with their hyperlift hull, reverse chines. The whole system compares to many fiberglass boats in the industry. But yeah, it's an aluminum boat and it goes in very shallow water. This, this boat will float in about eight to 10 inches of water with the motor trimmed up. It'll go in pretty shallow area. Also with the hull design and how they're put together, this is an example in a cutaway of the hull. So this is the bottom painted where the decal is. That's where the hull is. You have the cross members and this is the floor. And in between the floor is foam. And then that foam is sandwiched about halfway up the hull and along with a hyperlift design makes them ride and handle really well. And then take note to the spray and liner which is sprayed standard on all express boats and sprayed everywhere. Not just on top, but underneath every latch, under every lid, in every compartment. It's a lot of little things like that that make them ride and handle really well. Other upgrades with this boat, ladder. It has an extreme marsh package as well. And with the extreme marsh package, that's the most popular package that we sell here at FNS with the H series boats. Then we get the hydraulic jack plate. And then beyond the extreme marsh package, then we get the 10 inch hydraulic jack plate. Come stand with the package is six inch, but with a 175 or 200, the 10 inch jack plate sets the motor back a little farther and makes it work uh, considerably better. A little bit better performance. Also with the Extreme Marsh package, you get an upgraded fish finder and trolling motor, but then we upgrade beyond that. Standard with the package is a Helix 9, but then we upgrade to a Helix 9 side imaging. And we also upgrade the trolling motors from a hand control up to this Tarova 80, 24 volt iPod link. So the link will link it to the Humminbird so they communicate with each other. And we run an ethernet cable through the boat so they talk to each other to follow things like depth contours and that type of thing. It's pretty amazing uh, the technology today, but uh, we're very into it. We also add a lot of front mount grass for guys too or even multiple grass with the console too. And we, we do a lot of that to, to help you through it and so you understand what all works together. 
Little upgrades too that we do a lot of our boats. In addition to the upgraded trolley motor, we get the Minn Kota quick disconnect bracket, slider bracket, and the Minn Kota heavy duty quick disconnect plug. So it's easy to take the trolley motor on and off. This boat is a two-tone color, Bahama blue bottom, with silver upper and silver spray and liner. And then along with that, we got the Bahama blue appearance package. So with the appearance package, that includes Sea Deck, which all the expresses that we have in stock have Sea Deck. Bahama blue Sea Deck, matching seat stripes, and then matching hull graphics. And that's all part of the appearance package. There are six total colors available, but this one is a Bahama Blue package. If you see our website, you'll also see that we have many other H22s and H24s um, on order. We'd be glad to reserve for you. And also do a lot of special orders too. I'm glad to help you through and explain all the different packages and options and whatnot. It's very confusing. But it's my job to help you understand it and kind of steer you in the right direction of what makes the most sense. And Express is really good with tailoring to each customer to, to suit their needs. Like I talked about the upgraded trolley motor and fish finder, we can upgrade in all of their packages to, to make it make the most sense for you. This boat also has a saltwater trailer package, which has the composite cover plastic bunks. Forty gallon fuel tank. Like all expresses, we PDI them very thoroughly here at FNS. We try to. It takes us a couple days to go through each boat and make sure everything is as trouble free as possible before you receive it. Um, each boat, regardless of the manufacturer, just needs some help when they come from the company. Uh, th little things to fix and fine tune and whatnot and. We go through them very thoroughly before each customer receives each boat to try to make it as hassle-free as possible. Um, and then we also, too, in addition to that, before you get your boat, we go to the water um, to water test each boat because there's certain things that can only be tested in the water. Propping, lava well leaks, that type of thing need to be water tested. And we do that before you receive your boat. And then we also go with you to the water to make sure you understand how your boat works. We go everything thoroughly here at, at the shop, and then we also go to the water too. Take note to the center console with the bait station. Of course, the seat, bait tank. Another upgrade with this boat was the front storage compartment against the front deck. Uh, we can either get that or a jump seat as well. I get a lot of these. It's nice to have a little bit extra storage, but it's a nice step to the front deck as well. Lots of rod storage. And that rod storage goes all the way to the front on each side. Included with the Extreme Marsh package is the Extreme Bay Stainless package. So what that means is things like the grab handle, steering wheel, six cleats, rod holders, they're all stainless steel, which the Extreme Bay Stainless package comes with the Extreme Marsh package. Also with the Extreme Marsh package, the bait well is a recirculating bait well. So there's a separate pump at the bait well to recirc the water. So if you're traveling down the road and you want to put bait in the bait well, you can put bait water in there in the bait and it'll keep the, the bait fresh as you drive down the road. And with that Extreme Marsh package, these switches are stainless steel push button instead of plastic switches.
Also with the package, the leaning post is stainless steel with a backrest and a footrest. Inside the console is where the trolling motor batteries are housed. With the package you get an onboard charger. The fuse panel is then moved inside on a panel in the console part of that package too. Makes it a little bit better uh, to access and for corrosion resistance. Nice stainless steel door. We do a lot of other upgrades too, like I said with electronics, but then with lithium batteries and different onboard chargers and whatnot too. Feel free to shoot me a line and I'll explain. We do a lot of that. A lot of shallow water anchors, whether it be power pole or Minn Kota Raptors, Minn Kota Talons. We do a lot of that here. This bit also has a light package, which all the compartments are lit. The live wells are lit, and then there is a light on either side of the console. That's another upgrade. On the console, see the switch for the light kit. Wet sound stereo system with four speakers. Another upgrade. Washdown switch. So we each, most of our bay boats we order with a washdown pump. So there's a high pressure pump that sucks water from the lake or river um, up into a nozzle with a hose so you can wash down your boat. Fish blood and, or just in general, just, just to clean it off. Another upgrade. Jack plate switch, the hydraulic jack plate. All of the expresses that we order for stock, we order with U-Flex hydraulic steering. The U-Flex steering is a little bit better corrosion resistance. That's why we order that with all of our H-Bays versus the standard C-Star system. Jump seat. So there's one on either side of the leaning post. And then underneath each one is a cooler. And that's the hose inside there for the washdown. You see laying inside there. Feel free to contact me with questions and, and I make an info sheet up for every series of Express 2 to, to help you understand because it is confusing all the different packages and options and scenarios and it's my job to steer you in the right direction of what makes the most sense. Back here is the fuel tank. Wash down pump, you can see inside there. Of course batteries, or battery I should say for the boat. When you get the Extreme Marsh package, you also get two bilge pumps, the manual and the auto pump, so you get two. If you're looking for upgraded, the Extreme Marsh package makes the most sense if you want hydraulic jack plate, which most Express customers do, and you want uh, upgraded fish finder trolling motor, then usually it makes most sense to get that Extreme Marsh package. But many other packages as well, and you know, feel free to shoot me a line, I'd be glad to explain. Gauges on the dash, tachometer with a digital hour meter, trim gauge, fuel gauge, and then with the extreme marsh package, you also get a water pressure gauge as well. I appreciate you watching. Feel free to contact me with any questions. Have a good day.